Hey, what's up everybody, Shinmoku here, and welcome to my Crew 2 and for for Horizon, uh, Forza Horizon 4 comparison video. So, this should be a clear-cut battle, right? Forza Horizon 4 is one of the highest quality games we've ever had in the racing genre, and the Crew 2 is the Crew 2. It's an Ubisoft paper mache version of Forza Horizon, frankly. But, I have over double the amount of hours in the Crew 2 that I do in Forza Horizon 4. So, surely the Crew 2 has some merits. So, I'm going to try and break it down and make it clear where exactly the Crew 2 shines when compared to the colossal titan that is Forza Horizon 4. Let's get into it. Now, the games can kind of go back and forth here, but let's be real here, Forza Horizon 4 looks better 99% of the time. There are a few times when the lighting is just right and the Crew 2 genuinely looks photorealistic. But other than those few times, which is usually in the garage anyways, and not actually when you're driving, it just stands no chance. Forza Horizon 4 also runs much, much more smoothly. If I run Forza Horizon 4 on medium-low settings, easy 60 FPS rock solid. If I run the Crew 2 on very low to minimum settings, it is still a jaggedy 60 FPS, doesn't even hit a 60 FPS target. And then when cranking it up all the way to Ultra, I can hold a 30 FPS on the Crew 2, but Ultra on Forza Horizon 4, I can still hold the 30 FPS just fine, and it looks incomprehensibly better than the Crew 2 does. So overall, Forza Horizon 4 wins in not only just sheer appearance, but also, more importantly, performance in a racing game. So this instance is also pretty clear-cut. I mean, the Crew 2 just has wildly poor sound effects. I mean, some cars sound okay, and the planes sound pretty good, the boats sound pretty good, but they just sound like they're from GTR 2 from 2006. Just really not very good sound quality. And Forza Horizon 4, you know, I think some of the engine notes have been sort of detracted in quality from previous Forza games, which is a little confusing, but we're comparing Forza Horizon 4 to the Crew 2 here, not Forza Horizon 4 to other games in the series. So, we have to go ahead and say here that Horizon 4 easily wins this. This one is a little more controversial. The Crew's world is quantity over quality, but it kind of works. Forza Horizon 4 has just some of these incredible, wonderful vistas, but once you've seen them, you've seen them. It, it doesn't really have the same sort of effect over and over and over again. And the Crew 2's world, sure, it's visually less impressive, and it's a little less deliberate in the way that it shows you wide open vistas, and sometimes you can see the horrible poor textures in the distance. But, the size of the map does help. There's tons of just long stretches of highway where you can, where you're able to max out some of these vehicles, some long stretches of long twisty roads that would only be about half the size in Forza Horizon 4. And, in all honesty, the quantity does work here. Again, the quality, obviously, Horizon 4 wins, but the quantity does add to an overall feeling of longevity within the game. You almost always feel like there's something more to explore, or a race in this area that you haven't done very often, and you're able to explore that area once you're done with that race. With Forza Horizon 4, everything is so tightly packed that you're, just, you're going by the same things that you were doing in, in just the last race. So, no doubt, Horizon 4 world is of higher quality, but the quantity in the crew too, and the overall quality is decent as well, does help it win over here, I think. Okay, so this one is interesting. I think most games still have the customer in mind, but then right below that, it's how can we fuck over the customer now that they've bought the game. And both games do this in interesting ways, but I'm pretty sure you all know where this is going. The crew too's model is just very very scummy when it comes to Ubisoft. They have their own little they're still doing that thing where they have their own currency where you can buy it with real life money and then spend that on in-game items such as vanity items, um, upgrade parts, and then cars themselves of course and it they are very very expensive. And of course in Forza Horizon 4 all cars are direct purchase just for regular cash. In the Crew 2, you have to go through the clearly bullshit in-game currency model that a bunch of games have been using for 10, 20 years now to just screw you over and make sure that you always have just 
low enough an amount that you can't buy what you actually want with what you've paid and you always have to go the above tier to get the certain pack amount of currency that you need for what you want and it's just a whole lot more scummy especially considering that the crew 2 has just wildly overpriced vehicles in it which is going to incentivize people to want to incur those microtransactions. Whereas Horizon 4 is a bit more lenient in that and instead go towards maybe getting one of the expansion packs instead to help support the game. The Crew 2 has a lot more to play with here because it literally has more to play with. It's got your hovercrafts, it's got your planes, it's got your boats, it's got jet sprint boats, those are fun. I, I keep crashing them all the time, but they are fun. You have to keep all this stuff in mind, and Demolition Derby. You have to keep all this in mind, whereas Forza Horizon has an assortment of automotive vehicles, which the Crew 2 has all of. You know, you, you have your off-roads, your drift cars, race cars. The Crew 2 actually includes drag, and I don't think Forza Horizon 4 has that. So in terms of pure variety, the Crew 2 easily wins. But what's it like to actually pilot these vehicles, including the cars, of course? Uh, Forza Horizon is Forza Horizon. It's uh, pretty arcadey, pretty floaty, but you get good feedback from the cars. It, it's that great in-between between simulation and arcade. And the Crew 2, it kind of feels like you're steering a boat in a sea of Vaseline. It's just not good feeling. They, they improve the handling a little bit uh, in, a, in a recent update, but for a good year and a half, it was just complete, like, driving through sludge. And the cars felt very floppy, and so that's the cars, right? Didn't feel great, particularly the racing vehicles, which turn at an even faster rate, so then it really feels like you're driving through Vaseline. So what about the planes and boats? I think the boats are fun for what they are, but is a boat, you know? And I don't think that, that there's just enough feedback to really make it a visceral experience. And the same thing with the planes. The planes just sort of fly like planes, and it doesn't really feel like you're flying a plane is just sort of you're in a plane and you see the plane going directions based on what you input it doesn't really feel like you're you're flying a plane of course i'm not expecting like <laughs> verbose g-forces within my own home but I, I am expecting a little bit better feedback especially audibly it just sounds like <laughs> that's kind of all you hear while you fly a plane in the crew too and it just doesn't capture me in the way it should. However, just in terms of pure variety, you have to say the Crew 2 does keep you coming back for more a little bit longer. It, it mostly keeps you coming back because, of, again, that shitty model of how the vehicles are priced. All the vehicles, not just the cars are priced. Just a ludicrous amount, you just have to keep on going. So, on the whole, you could say the Crew 2 is more fun in some regards if you really are into those alternative vehicles. But if you're not into them, Forza Horizon 4 all the way. Definitely does cars a lot better if you're just looking to drive cars. Now, which game is going to last you longer? You're spending a decent amount of money on these games, even nowadays. So, which one is going to give you that bang for your buck? Again, it comes down to what I just talked about. What are you looking for in this game? Are you just looking to experience automotive history? Just a series of automobiles throughout history. Pretty much anything you could ever want is in Forza Horizon 4. Whereas the Crew 2 has a slightly lower car count, particularly lacking in historic vehicles. So in that sense, the car list is a little less full. But the vehicle list is just as full if you want to talk about all the different variety of vehicles. But again, those sort of offshoot vehicles, the ones that aren't cars, you know, the planes, your boats, your helicopter, the one helicopter, and uh, motorbikes, things like that. Crew 2 does have all those for you if you want just to explore vehicular vehicleness. And if you want that sort of streamlined automotive experience, you can go with Forza Horizon 4. But the Crew 2, if you're down with that large variety of vehicles, it's going to make you stick around for longer. You're going to want more of those those specialized vehicles, more of those planes, more of those hovercrafts, more so than just building up your car collect. Even though, of course, cars are the more main attraction of the game. So the Crew 2 will have you coming around for longer. And again, it is also due to that just awful awful pricing of all the vehicles in the game it is also partly down to that and horizon 4 is maybe a little too lenient in that actually because you can basically get whatever car you want within an hour basically if you uh 
if you just if you're just playing for currency that's very very easy in horizon 4 whereas with the crew it, it could take you a day maybe two days just a pure playtime to get a good uh, good high-end hypercar say like something like the, the bugatti chiron or bugatti devo those take very 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 long to get and it's not really something you'll get in Horizon 4. You'll be able to unlock those cars relatively quickly in Horizon 4. So it really depends on what's your patience. What are you looking to feel as you build up to that? Do you like having to grind for these extremely expensive vehicles? Or do you just want a small little grind for an hour or two and just get that cool car? So in that sense, you could say the Crew 2 has some artificial longevity to it. But it will last you longer. That's not to say that Horizon 4 was just a one and done thing. Once you're done with the campaign, you've got all the cars. Absolutely not. If you want to max out Horizon 4, <laughs> it just clear your clear your entire life out. It will take a very long time if you want to 100% this game. But if you want to fulfill yourself fully in the game, Horizon 4 will take less time than the Crew 2 will. Again, usually for some artificial reasons such as ludicrous price tags and low payouts. But let's get on to the most important one. Now this is a tricky one. There's an obvious case to be made that the Crew 2 is just not worth your money because it is the lower quality product. But it also has to be said that the Crew 2, at this moment of recording at least, is much, much cheaper across all platforms. Keep in mind Horizon 4 is only Xbox and PC. On PS4, Xbox, and PC, the Crew 2 is insanely cheap now because of uh well you all know what went down with that game's release and they have updated it very frequently and they're always updating it pretty much since its release with with truly big content drops as well as uh, small graphical improvements small as i mentioned handling improvements they are looking out for this frankly dead game so in that sense you are getting an actually well supported game for something that's probably half or a third the price of Forza Horizon 4 and something that will last you longer as well. However, it's not like Horizon 4 is about to break your bank. It's been holding its value well, sure, but it is an extremely high quality experience. And while you may feel a sense of buyer's remorse with the crew too, you will not feel that with Forza Horizon 4. There's just no way. It's just an extremely high quality, enjoyable experience. And the crew too is a bit more of a risk. So it's up to you then. Do you want to take the risk or not? Or play it safe, spend a bit more cash, and get a really high quality game out of it? For me personally, I got both the games because fuck it, right? I just love racing games, so I'll play them both. And I have to say that the Crew 2 really did keep my attention for a very long time. I'm really not a fan of the handling model, even the new one isn't too great. But the grind really did keep me coming back for more. And just the, the extreme event list, just with the amount of stuff you're able to do in the game, it kept me coming back for more and more than Horizon 4 had. But it is not as good a game as Horizon 4. It's just good at keeping you coming back for more. That about wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think of the Crew 2 and Forza Horizon 4? Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? Uh, leave it in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.